All right, so when I tell you guys I love a player, it's not for no reason, okay? I don't end up getting favorites on the team just because, okay? Oh, I like their swag. Oh, I like their aura. No, there's there's legitimate reasons why I will praise a specific player. I want some rest. Are we having fun yet? So you know that Primo, okay, yeah, I, I got to bring this up, okay? So Joshua Primo, um, he was a player that I really did like, right? And the reason why I liked him so much and why this channel became like a pro Primo channel for a while at that time is because his high basketball IQ and his he had really good defensive ability. And yeah, I, I just liked how smooth he was on the court, right? Um, it was the same reason why I liked Derek White. High basketball IQ, phenomenal defender, and I'm just a sucker for, for players like that. Uh, my favorite player of all time is Mono Ginobili, as most people you know, know, and most people probably have the same. And did I just get a message? I just got a Facebook message. Let me turn that off. There we go. Um, but yeah, most people will know that, yeah, I, I, I love players with high basketball IQ, and you guys typically do too, right? We're San Antonio Spurs fans. But man, I get quite a bit of hate every time I bring up the potential of Jeremy Sohan there there's it's like split with with the with the fan base right there's maybe 60 percent that's on the train of yes he's a really good player other people just aren't seeing it and there's a good 40 percent of people saying I don't get it I don't see it uh he's he's average uh, he's not that good, right? And you know, in the mix of that, you got some genuine haters, but you got some people that genuinely just don't know how good he is. He is really good. Defensively, he is really good. Very high basketball IQ. That's not just on the offensive end. Defensively, he's the man. And this uh, this shows it right here. So top 10 wing stoppers in perimeter isolation defense now the reason why this is crazy to me the reason why this is insane to me is because jeremy sohan's a pretty big guy right he's a pretty big guy for him to be a wing stopper uh very impressive to be six nine hold on let me fact check myself jeremy sohan height six eight i'm stupid i i don't know jeremy sohan i don't know him like i thought i knew him um but yeah so six eight a uh, very very versatile big but here's an explanation of uh what wing stopper consists of pretty good explanation here from b-ball index go follow them by the way uh but yeah sohan's number two number two okay number two taylor here from basketball index the nba Hello, has moved beyond its traditional five defensive positions uh -huh. so basketball index created seven new defensive roles that better explain modern nba defense Today we're going to look at the wing stopper role. The primary responsibility for a player in this role is to guard the opposing team's best on-ball scoring wing. Now, the reason why this is interesting and the reason why I love this so much is because you guys know I, I talked about this before. We looked at all of the different players that uh, 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 Sohan guarded last season, right? And everyone says hey, Devin Fassell is a true two-way, which I'm not going to, I'm not going to argue with that. I think, I think that he's a pretty good defender, right? Um, but he's not a great on-ball defender. And we could even go back and see what assignments did he have. And he was guarding like maybe the third best player at times. Uh, but you look at Sohan and it's so many minutes of guarding Luka, so many minutes of guarding LeBron, so many minutes of guarding Donovan Mitchell, so many minutes, like it, it was ridiculous uh the the responsibility that he had the responsibility that pop put on his shoulders so very impressive stuff okay while both often guard in isolation and ball screens this is different from our point of attack role due to the physical profile of who's being guarded for wing stoppers length and athleticism is essential to effectively challenge larger players the most important metrics for this role are on ball defense ball handler screen defense and matchup difficulty Herb Jones. That's a huge one right there. And my God, he had some crazy, oh, some crazy matchups. Excelled in them. And he did a good job, mind you, too. So some people will say, because people, I, I hate this argument when people bring up, well, I mean, yeah, he guarded Luka, but Luka scored 40 points on him. And it's like, we, you got you to gotta look at how many minutes he was actually guarding Luka. You can't just say this player scored 100 million points 
um and and this player did not lock them down it's like no he actually did a phenomenal job on a lot of different players um by the way spurs spurs invasion okay you guys know i have that other channel spurs invasion watch my last video on spurs invasion okay i'll bring it up at the end of this video um go subscribe to that and watch my my sohan video you might like it i don't know you might hate it it doesn't matter watch it give it a thumbs down i don't i really don't care control in 2022 wing stoppers see their impact rise the most out of any of our hey don't copyright claim me now defensive roles from the regular season to, uh, to the playoffs this is because okay actually i don't want to get copyright claim so you're just going to look at me while you listen to this okay because the ability to defend top tier scores like lebron and kevin durant in isolation is extremely valuable particularly as iso plays become more frequent in the playoffs without a quality wing stopper elite scoring wings are able to get to their spots and score at will for more on our defensive roles, head on. All right, good stuff. Uh, but yeah, guys, go follow uh, B Ball Index. But I just, all seriousness though, I think that Sohan gets way too much hate. I know that at this point, people are like, "Oh, you, you just like it, obsessed with Sohan." It's like, no, I just value high basketball IQ players, and I think that he's very important to what we do. Yes, personality-wise, I like him. But you know what? I like a lot of players in the NBA personality wise. I like a lot of players on our team personality wise, right? I think Julian Champagny seems like a cool guy. Uh, but at the end of the day, I, I, I really do value uh, what he brings to the team and what he brings to the court. And Sohan is a really good player. And I know that we can say, oh, he needs to work on this. He needs to work on that. Everyone needs to work on something, okay? Uh, Sohan will never be a Steph Curry. He'll never be able to just light light you up uh, but if he can in his career if he can get to a 33 percent which he's on pace to do that if he can get to a solid 33 to 34 percent from three we are cooking we are good i'm not worried whatsoever and that was a percentage that he actually held up to the last two months i think that's when it started to fall off uh but he was he was averaging some actually you know what hold on i'm not just gonna say it I'm going to show it. Let's see here. Let's go to ESPN. I'd never seen his middle name before. Was that Julius? Juli Julius is his middle name? I'm going to start saying that. All right. Actually, we're going to go to game locks. All right. Just so you know, I'm not lying. I wouldn't lie to you guys. Let's see. So you got October, 30%. Not too great. Uh... Yeah, no, actually, October was 25%. Terrible. But look at this. November, 46.7%. December, 32.5%. January, 37.5%. And then it fell off to 19%. And then 22% the last two months. So, yeah. So, he had a month of nearly 47, which we knew that wasn't going to keep up. 33, I think that that's probably his sweet spot, honestly. Um, he can just consistently hit that. And then 37.5%, which, you know, I also felt this month, okay, he was kind of eh, he was kind of out of himself a little bit. He ain't that good. You know, you can't shoot like that yet. Um, but huge improvement from his season prior. So he can work on that as well. And I know, everyone knows, he has to work on his three-point shooting. But I tell you what, this is a crazy improvement to go from 25%. I mean, that's 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 unheard of, and so, especially with how bad of a shooter he was prior. But go to 25% up to 30, nearly 31% is huge. And yeah, he's on pace. And I, if he can just get to 33 and keep it there, I'm content. I'm happy. I think that we're in a really good spot. Uh, so those are my thoughts. You guys let me know what you think. Uh, just wanted to relay that information to you guys. I am so happy that he's getting some recognition, 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 recognition. I can never say that recognition. Um, yeah, some good stuff. Oh, I promise to. Yeah, uh, guys, um, hold on. Spurs invasion. Every time I record a video, I record it as if I'm going live. I'm, I'm I think I'm a live streamer now, honestly. Uh, Spurs invasion, YouTube. I didn't spell YouTube right. Here we go. Follow this channel. Follow this channel and go check out 
uh, Jeremy Sohan, the last video I did. I, I still have to, that was a month ago. I still have to make a new video, but we're 4K subscribers, so that's cool. Thank you guys. Uh, but yeah, go check out, go check that out. All right, I'll give it to you later. Uh, love you guys, bye.